You did see the chemically nucleated snow videos, right? That the snow wouldn't melt and it was actually showing signs of burning. Exactly what we've been saying about what's been happening over the Arctic region. You know, when yeah. that jet's where the source of the, you know, where the jet yeah. stream dips up and, and it's dipping up and down more and more sharply than ever. Yeah. The whole system in the northern hemisphere is deranged, got a massive drought in California. And Governor Brown says he's not going to release water as in normal drought to the Southern California cities. Why not? Governor oh, Moonbeam. Too well, funny. we can guess your thinking because it's, well, it, it, yeah, it's better to have <laughs> a drought, shut down the farms, <laughs> shut down the industry, uh-huh. encourage, shut down the swimming pools, encourage people to move out because of drought rather than admit the fact that California West Coast is doomed by radiation. I yes, mean, uh, it's, yeah. Wouldn't it be better to have that drought knock everyone out and blame a drought rather than blame what's causing the drought? Guess guess who's going to buy up all the uh, bankrupt farms? Big big business, well, big farm. You know, George Soros. They're going to buy all of them uh, up. Yeah, I, I know. They'll probably turn out to be just desert. No one's going to buy. It. What they're going to do well, it used is to basically be. buy the farmers. When the farmers move, okay, mm-hmm. to the southern states, you know, the Dixie, you know, down south, mm-hmm. that's when they'll give them these outrageously ridiculous loans, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah, With yeah, you know, floating yeah. interest rates. That's how they do it. We'll give you a loan to move your equipment. We'll give you anything you need. We're here to help you, you know, buddy. And uh, we'll help you get some new land down south, and, you know, you'll be all right, or down in Mexico somewhere. Okay, we'll make a deal with the Mexicans. That's how they're going to get these guys. And they might just buy up some of the land in California just to help dispose of that land, right? You got a fake fire come in to help the guy move out fast. So, you know, this is like a global fraud by the nuclear, uh, by, by, you know, government completely beholden to the nuclear industry. When we got into this, we knew they were sold out to nuclear. We didn't know how far down the river they were sold, these governments. And, is anybody measuring yeah. the snow in Japan? Uh, probably not. It's it's hard to measure. You know, snow it's still water. It's crystallized. It reflects like hell, it's like glass. Mm. You cannot basically. You're not going to be able to take a good radiation count from the well, you snow. Have you have to melt it, it and, and, and you have to melt it and measure it's, the water. Yeah, really, 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 really tough, and that's a real problem. Uh, maybe the moss. On uh, rocks and trees that are under the snow, uh, maybe an yet. indicator. Of, better yet, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's about the only source that you would get. Bioaccumulation is always the best because you know it tends to stabilize and it won't reflect. The water inside the plant will not be reflected. Okay, so you can pick it up. Real, say what well, we we've got this real problem without a massively expensive equipment and lab costs. It's very hard to do some of the stuff that we need to know about water to take measurements. So that's always been our problem. We've always had to do it from secondary sources, uh, from bioaccumulation, from plant sources. A problem. But obviously, those areas, the forests, are where all the water coming in, all the rainwater from the Pacific uh, that's coming in, it gathers on the trees. It's massively radioactive. It has been radioactive since 2011. It's not going away. So... Situation, that, 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 uh, and, and, and as you stated about vegetables in the valley, I think uh, it's about time now. You guys just skip the salad bar, okay? Oh, it's a, oh, it's over. Stuff. It was over you know, because yeah, of the, yeah, the yeah, pesticides yeah, yeah, yeah. and herbicides, and now you got radionuclides yeah. to add. So the Ides of yeah, March are upon us. Think about it. Yeah, the Ides, the, the Ides, yeah. Right. Yo, Yochi, yeah. the Ides. Ides of March. Pesticides. Ides of March is today, right? Yeah, Pe- right yeah but pesticides. Listen, listen. Yeah. Pesticides, yeah. herbicides, nuclides. Yeah. The Ides are upon GMO. us. The Yeah, that that's too. That's right. The Ides of March. Yo, you're right. The Ides, the radionuclides. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that's brilliant. Brilliant, Jeff. Yeah, you've got to get something out of the Ides of March. Yeah, All exactly right. it. And okay. March is the season. Right? Yeah. This is when... You're going to get all that lettuce, all that broccoli, all that stuff is coming up. You know, it's coming up like roses all over the valleys of California, Washington, Oregon. It's tragic. This is just, we're watching the poisoning of a continent. Right? And no, not, continent, right? and not a watching. word, not a word from the government, of course.